Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Dragon Age Origins. Alrighty, when we left off, we had, well, we were leaving uh, Red Cliff to then run into an ambush, apparently. Uh, an assassin was sent after us from Loghain, and uh, we dealt with him. Uh, just barely, but we dealt with him. Uh, because he kind of got the drop on us. It seems Alistair cannot stay alive <laughs> in any fight whatsoever. But uh, we took care of him. Uh, then he joined us, which was an odd development. Uh, turns out he's just a assassin for hire, so he's willing to join anyone uh, who kicks his ass hard enough, I guess. So there's that. So we're just going to head to the caravan like we were going to before the ambush happened. Oh! Yeah, the caravan's fucked. Yeah, the caravan's right fucked. Alright, give me a second. I need to get a little closer to the microphone. Yay! Okay, well. That's a terrifyingly bad development. But okay. Is this... It's hard to tell if this is the Blight because this is a lot of armor on them. Are these a lot of Genlocks? Hard to tell from a distance, I guess. Gonna have to get in close and find out, huh? Yeah, I guess so. Alright. Uh, yep, a lot of Genlocks. Okay. I was right. Go. Perfect. And you should probably be healing Alistair right now. Wow, she really does not want to heal Alistair. Okay, um And he's dead. Alistair always dies. Like, every single time. I feel bad for him at this point. Oh, he's got two. Oh, joy. Oh, man. I think Morgan's doing it on purpose at this point. <laughs> she has to be. It's the only thing that makes sense. Alright, uh, lesser injury kit. The Gets rid of one, that's right. Awesome. Yeah. Yep. The waiting around part is awesome. Oh, well you relax. I mean, when you're not waiting around, you're dying on me, so I mean just calm it down, huh? Garnet. Not bad. Acid flask. Garnet. Yeah, seen worse. Elf root, okay. And a chest of blank vellum. Yeah, the uh, the caravan's straight fucked. I mean, everything's still put together, just. Not great. Because, uh, everyone's dead. Yeah, it's not good. Not good at all. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. Yeah. Mm. Unfortunate. All right, well, that's taken care of. Let's go try and help the refugees and not get ambushed this time. Nope. <laughs> Fuck that. Ah. Uh... By people with crossbows.
Um, they're not attacking me. Adventure leader, huh? So we essentially ran into another band of adventurers. And that's an ambush? Okay. Well, uh... Hi there. There's troubles out here, eh? We even saw dark spawn on the way in. Yeah, we did. Uh, that was a uh, that was a treat because it took out a caravan. You, I'm assuming, didn't help. Where are you going? We're delivering a message to the Chantry in Denerim. You? What's the message about? We saw a blood mage down near the Brazilian forest. We're off to tell the Chantry about him. Oh, uh, okay. Well, then, I'm uh, here to stop you. <laughs> I thought you said... Wait. You're serious? Yep. Absolutely. Turn around now and just go home. Hey, no need to get pushy. We were just in it for the experience. Well. No fighting. Okay. That went better than I expected. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Nothing else really to say there. Um... Okay. We're done. Okay, come on. Let's just... There we go. Continue on to the refugees. Oh, the thing I learned about uh, Lothering. Uh, it is absolutely something you cannot avoid. Uh, it comes after the first thing you do after leaving it. It is predestined... So, yeah. <laughs> I have no say in the matter. I mean, I knew it would be destroyed at some point <laughs> between this game and, well, the start of this game and the start of 2, but I didn't think it would be that soon. <laughs> I figured it would be in the interim a little bit. I guess the events of Origins and 2 are more intertwined than I thought. Okay. Well, in that case. Let's uh, check on the refugees here. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Okay, come on. Alright, this is not going well. Oh, boy. Well, at least she's healing me. At least that can for us. Alright. Got far worse. Hey, Alistair got a level up. Nice. I was hitting buttons and none of them worked out. Okay. As you wish. Oh. Hit the gen lock. Damn it. Go after the gen lock. Ow. Oh. Got to have him do all of that. Oh! Okay. Well. <laughs> well, I mean. Oh, no. Well, this is not a good. This is not a good sign. Okay. Well, did that. Oh, now she's healing Alistair. Now she heals him when he's the only one left. Okay, I see how it is. Okay. Well, I mean, working out. Oh, gonna sneeze. One. 
Sorry about that. <laughs> and... What the fuck are you doing? Perfect. And I probably have an injury to heal for myself. Yeah, just one. Could be worse. Of so. course. Um, go to me. Uh, where? This one. That was what I wanted. Do another do do injury that. kit. Hey, you can. You just did it. Uh, wooden crate. Okay, time to loot. <laughs> now that I've just barely survived the fucking fight. And me and Alistair got a level up, so woo! Good shit. Money. Garnet, which is essentially money. Dark spawn mace, huh? It's gray iron, so it's not really worth any useful uh, attack, I'm sure. Well, I mean, maybe. Let me try that sentence again. It only just struck me that it made no fucking sense. It's probably not worth any useful attack bonus. Ah, uh, <laughs> I meant to say. But, uh, my brain did not really work all that well there. Because only just woke up. <laughs> anyway. Um, let's fix some of the talents these guys are running with. Because right now the... Uh, Now they're not doing too well. Um, sustain. Um, oh, my bad. Uh, okay, and that's activated. Put that there. Uh, actually, put that over here um that's passive this is activated and this is activated um put that there put that mm. you don't huh what is that that is an activated dirty fighting thing Okay, well, that's, I guess, useful. So, yeah, I guess I can hold on to that. Um, and as it comes to signing that, can go there. Good, okay. And I'm only doing this just so I can fix their menus. Uh, whoops. Sign that over here uh, okay and when it comes to oh I could have done it from here I'm stupid <laughs> I'm fucking dumb um, the sustained ones I guess I can put this one Over, yeah, over here. Whoops. It's better to hit the button that way. And then this one. That over here. Good. And I don't really need this on as much as I seem to think I do. But then again, he has the willpower to do all three, so. Yeah, might as well keep it that way. Um, so we'll assign that here. And, uh, the other talent. Taunt, I guess, is probably the best one. Hmm. Although, 
Shield pummel's probably a good idea, too. Alright, uh, okay, assign, and put it there. Good, alright. And that should fix that. Uh, tis Not you. A... Oh, shush. There we go. Good. Better. Alright, now let's do those level ups, huh? <laughs> As I worked on all of that. Alright, level up. I can't do any of the specializations yet. Org. Okay. Now it's time to lean a little bit more into strength, I think. Um... Huh. Yeah, and then go for willpower there. Okay. Um, yeah, I absolutely am no longer dumping anything into verbalism because we have a uh, because we have Morgan for that. Um, Additional combat tactic slot would be nice, but I don't know. The ability to talk my way through a thing is actually pretty nice, so we'll go with that. Um, hmm. Talents-wise... Not much else I can do. Huh. Precise striking and perfect striking. Huh. Perfect striking would... Focus on precision, gaining a massive attack bonus for a moderate time of... Doesn't say. Huh. It says the activation costs 65, but... That's about it. Cooldown's 30 seconds. Yeah. Maybe up until the 30 second cooldown is done? I don't know. Hard to say. Anyway, um, since I can't go any further down the fucking dexterity tree yet, um, cripple would be useful. Character strikes at a low at a target, gaining a momentary attack bonus and hitting critically if the attack connects while crippling the target with penalties to movement speed attack and defense unless it passes a physical resistance check now we just need to switch to expert yeah let's do that yeah we'll keep that Alrighty. And... Yeah, I think I'm good with that. I just need to remember to use this more often now, because now I can have a lot more quick things to go to if I do it that way. All right, now let's level up Alistair. <laughs> Jesus, this is taking forever. Man, oh man. All right, uh... Do that. Not dexterity, what am I doing? Uh, willpower. And a little more to constitution, there we go. Um... Let's add a combat slot, maybe? No. Do that for now, and then I'll see. Huh. 
shield stuff, uh, shield defense. Gaining a bonus to defense and an increased chance to shrug off missile attacks, but taking a penalty to attack. Shield cover sustained. Uh, overpower. Character lashes out with the shield three times. First two hits inflict normal damage. The last strike is a critical hit if it connects, knocking the target down unless it passes a physical resistance check. Shield mastery increases the damage. Huh. Fair enough. Although shield defense would be probably better. Yeah, there we go. Um, yeah, that'll work. That'll work. Okay, um... Didn't get a lot of good stuff there. Did not really get a lot of good stuff. Uh, compare. Well, the sword does far more damage than his axe currently. Doesn't have as high a critical chance. Nor as much armor penetration. Huh. So I guess that makes sense. Yeah. Don't really want to equip him with it then. As it stands, I already have a better long sword on my guy. I'll just keep it in the inventory for now. Alright, let's talk to these guys since we kind of saved their asses. Well, all but one of them. Oh, thank you, Maker. Thank you, thank you. Well, you're welcome. The other guy, uh,. Didn't make it, unfortunately, but I at least saved two of them. That's a fucking achievement. <laughs> right there, I guess. Alright. Let's get out of here. Sorry for the sneeze halfway through that fight. I did not expect a sneeze to come up on me that quickly. Um... Hmm. Filters pass. Why is that orange? Why is that orange of all things? I don't understand. Alright. Let's go to the party camp. Just because it's been a while since we last went there. Now that we're back at the camp, I want to talk about what happened at Redcliffe. Okay. You were there. You saw what happened. Yes, I know. I've had some time to think about it now. You? you let Lady Isolde sacrifice herself. Okay. With blood magic. How could you do that? You think I should have killed the little boy instead? We could have gone to the Circle of Magi. We, we could have tried harder. We should have tried something that didn't involve blood magic. That's for sure. This is the old son we're talking about here. What do you think he'll say when we revive him? <laughs> Hmm. He'll see that there are larger things at stake, presumably. I just don't know how you could do it. How you could make that decision. I owe the Isle more than this. I honestly did the best I could, Alistair. Did you? I guess I really have no choice but to just accept that. Just forget I brought it up. 
I'm the one being the ass here, right? Forget I said anything. No, no, you, you're in the right to at least bring it up. Oh! Oh, boy. No more buddy-buddy with Alistair, huh? Oh, geez. Let's just see how bad that looks. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> oh, boy. What do you need? Uh, huh. I have to ask you ask something. Away. Can you teach others to be a Templar? I suppose I could. But I really would rather not. When the Grand uh -huh. Beric let Duncan recruit me, she made me swear never to reveal Templar secrets outside of the Chantry. I'd rather not go back on my word. Fair enough. Very well. Ask me later, perhaps. Maybe I'll change my mind. This is not something small you're asking, after all. Yeah. Yeah, I also pissed you off significantly. But you're approving of the fact that I'll let you uh, keep your secrets. So for that, at least. I'll be so happy. There you go, Piff. There you go. Good doggo. Alrighty. I should probably talk with some of our newest people. With, uh, that really only being uh, Zevran here. But yeah, I can talk to him. Here I am. Here you are. Care to answer some questions? Oh, this should be good. Go ahead. What does it take to become an assassin? Well, the Crows would have you believe that it is an involved process that takes years of training. The sort that tests both your resolve and your endurance. Uh-huh. Survive that process and maybe, just maybe, you're good enough to start being considered one of them. Really? But quite frankly, the truth is that all it requires is the desire to kill people for a living. It's surprising how well one can do in such a field. Really? So, you have to be a murderer? <laughs> no, I'm not asking that. Uh, it doesn't take any special skill set? I don't know about that. It's simply a slightly different skill set from your average killer, as I see it. Okay. An assassin simply specializes in striking from stealth, and in maximizing that first attack to be as lethal as possible. Debilitate gotcha. your foe, either by poison or by crippling their limbs, makes any follow-up combat you need to engage in that much simpler. That is very useful. That sounds like it would be very useful. See? Getting paid for the act is beside the point. An assassin is more a tactical choice than a lifestyle. Of course, hmm. the crows like to pretend that their abilities are trade secrets, shrouded in shadows and wrapped in a blanket of mystery. Uh -huh. So let's just keep this between you and me, shall we? Hmm? <laughs> Otherwise, you'd get into a lot of trouble. Gotcha. Well, I mean, you're already in trouble as it is with the crows because you survived uh, trying to kill me. So, yeah. Here I am. Uh, can you teach others to be one? Oh, I certainly could, but I won't. Okay. I swore to the crows that the things they taught me were to remain a secret. And while, yes, they are already angry at me, I'd rather not push things, you see. Fair enough. Very well, I'll respect that. If you are truly insistent, well... Let me think about it. The crows are already angry at me, yes? Who knows? Fair enough. Hey, approves. Good. I wonder what Sten specialization is. I don't right recall. In fact, can I level him up now that we're back in camp? I can level them up. Okay. Everyone, really, who wasn't part of the whole party brigade. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Whoa. He has... He has a lot of points to catch up on. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Um, Constitution's pretty high up there already. Uh, guess I can do that. Um, Dread Howl. Threaten. There you go. Zevron. Zevron. 
Zevran did not get a level up, but that was because we recruited him essentially at that level. Sten did not? That's weird. That is very weird. I could have sworn. Um, Crow Dagger. Um, hmm. Uh, what, what was his specialization? Is there a way to get to that? He did not have a specialization. Huh. He's just warrior. All right. Plus one tactic slots acquired. Oh, that's for the pooch. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, Morrigan, let's talk to you. What do you wish of me? It's been a while since I talked to you. I'd like to ask you something. If you must. Uh, can you teach others to become that? If the button would work. I cannot teach you, no. But any other mages that cared to learn, yes, I could do that. Fair Send enough. whoever you wish my way, and I shall teach them what I can in the camp. Provided they possess the will to even make the attempt. Hmm. Alrighty. Cool. Good to know. Uh, if let's you ask must. you something else. Like, uh... Have you ever been hunted by the Chantry? <laughs> you are very cute to ask so many questions. Am I? <laughs> you are cute when you're evasive. Really? Perhaps we should be wrapped in ribbons and adorned with flowers. So cute are we, too. <laughs> My mother has been okay. hunted from time to time, yes. By Templar fools like Alistair, which should tell you how successful they generally were. Flemeth made a bit of a Fair game enough. of it, in fact. Oh. The Templars would come again, and she would look at me and smile and say that the fun was to begin once more. Oh. You really had no trouble with them. I am unsure. I was too young to understand, and perhaps it was bravado on Plemeth's part, or perhaps she was merely amused. I will never know. Fair enough. Plemeth would warn them once. It was a warning they inevitably failed to heed. Gotcha. And then the true game began. Often Flemeth would use me as bait. Oh! <laughs> a little girl to scream and run and lure the Templars deeper into the wilds and to their doom. Used you as bait? That's a little fucked up. But did you actually kill... Well, I mean, surely more would have followed. Sometimes. Eventually. Thankfully, the wilds is a vast place. Once they found us, Flemeth would simply move us elsewhere and we would be lost within the forest once again. Mm -hmm. I did not understand the danger we faced until I was much older. I had never heard of apostates or maleficarum. Oh... What exactly is an apostate? You do not know. The Zeth use that word for any magic they do not control. The oh, Chantry we'll sees see. any mages not leashed to the circle of magi as apostates. Hmm. And apostates could become maleficarum, evil mages that resort to blood magic and become demon-enslaved abominations. Ah, it may I see. even be true. Still, those of us who prefer freedom see no reason to submit. Hmm. I mean, I might think the same, given the circumstances. Thank you for small favors, then, at the very least. Enough of this talk. Let us return to the task at hand. Fair enough. Hey, she approved! Wow, it didn't take all that much. And also didn't give me all that much. But hey, approval! Woo! Okay. Uh, I think I might just walk around the camp and talk to people at this rate. Uh, we'll talk to them to get, uh, business dealt with. And then I'll talk more to Sten, Alistair, and Liliana. And, uh, see what I can learn from all of that. But for now, thank y'all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see y'all 
in the next episode. Shout out to SVS on YouTube for subscribing to my Patreon and supporting the channel. I very much appreciate it. This has been the one and only Stray Cat playing games and, well, trying to complete several things. Uh, mainly the side quest from the Chanter's board. Uh, helped the refugees as much as I could after an ambush of adventurers. And then uh, ran into a whole bunch of crazy, murderous uh, Genlocks who destroyed the caravan, I guess, before we even got there. It's unfortunate. But, uh, well, we dealt with that too, so there's that. And uh, for once, Alistair only died once, and then I died. So it's not a fun thing going on. No one on our party can really survive, can they? For you.